Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali. So let's get start with the very first module that is introduction to Microsoft Excel. So most of you might have familiar or earlier used Microsoft Excel, but in this course, you will be getting through the all the fundamentals of different Excel features, including the formulas and functions and scenarios so that your skill set get much improved and you can save your time at your workplace, increase more efficiency and can be comfortable in working the Excel application environment. I will be your instructor for this course and I hope you will learn a lot from this course. There are a lot of modules and topics has been included from basic to advanced. In this particular video, we will be getting started with Microsoft Excel application fundamentals or you can say basic so that you can might get familiar if you are starting after a long time or you can see the latest interface. So I will be using Microsoft Excel 2021 with an Office 365 subscription. Whereas don't worry if you are using Excel 2016, 2019 or might be 2013. A lot of formulas and functions and features are still available with the previous versions. But the recommendation is that if you are using Excel 2016 and the earlier versions or the latest versions, you might be more getting advantage of this entire course. I suggest you to have the latest versions. Okay, so let's get start when you open Excel for the very first time or you open it regularly, you see a blank Excel worksheet. This is the entire graphical user interface of the latest version of Microsoft Excel. So let's discuss the basic fundamentals first. On top left side of this application, you see a small icon of save. We can add more icons to this space or area. This is called quick access toolbar QAT. Why this is being used? Because sometimes some of the features are in the other ribbons or tabs you say, and you want to get the quick navigation of that particular feature so you can add those features in the quick access toolbar next to it you can see the file name okay and uh, you can also save your document to the OneDrive if it's connected you can upload that as well if you are already signed in with your hotmail account so I am already signed in with my Raheem dot Zulfikarelli at live account live.com account on the center of this top application you you will find the search bar where you can search for any topic and it will give you the instructions on the right side you will see three windows of uh, every window in the microsoft windows you will see these three icons that is minimize restore and close button then you have the all the ta tabs names and might be there are some of the tabs in which uh, which are not available in your excel version because i am using for that for specific purposes but some of the most common tabs or ribbons you can say which are available in your version as well such as file tab which is a kind of a backstage view where you can um, go through the fundamentals and settings of the excel file like you can open a new excel file or you can download some templates you can open some existing file which is located in your hard drive or you can save and save as a copy of this existing worksheet. You can print the particular worksheet or a workbook. You can share with your colleagues. You can export it or you can publish it to the web. Or if you want to do some advanced settings, you can go to account and options, right? So this is the backstage view when you click on the file tab and then you have some more tabs available, common tabs, home tab, insert tab, then you uh, might have the page layout, formulas, data, review, view. Uh, might be you don't see uh, QuickBooks or ASAP utilities. These are third party tools or the crypto sheets. Uh, but you have these fundamentals ribbons available in your Excel version as well. Now, every ribbon have contains some multiple groups. What is mean by groups? Groups are basically contain some features of Microsoft Excel for specific purposes. For example, if I write my name in cell D2 and if I want to make it a bold, so I will go to home tab first. Then this is the font group where we have some font related features. So if I want to make it bold, so I will 
click on B button or I can use the shortcut keys. Remember that the shortcut keys handout is also included in this Microsoft Excel training program. All right, so this is how we use Excel features by just clicking on it. And all the features are, are certainly in one of the group. For example, if we want to do some number formatting, so we have the number group and we can see that I, either I can transform this number into a percentage or I want to do comma formatting or decimal formatting, increasing or decreasing, or I want to do some currency formatting as well. So this is in a number group. Now the group are of two types. Some of the groups has also further features hidden and we can explore them with a dialog window and some of the uh, groups does not have the further options available. For example, if you can see a uh, styles group in which we have three features available, conditional formatting, format as table and cell styles. Whereas the features which are hidden, uh, it's it has an icon in the group of uh, bottom right side. So if you compare styles group and a number group, you will find a you can see that a small arrow on bottom uh, right side of this particular group. Okay, so when you click on this button, a specific button, a dialog window of open of that particular group where you have further options available. Okay, so some of the groups have that uh, further options window, dialog window, or some 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 don't have. Okay, now. Then we have in this uh, application interface, we have a name box. So when a user is, is uh, active on a particular cell, uh, the name box shows that the cell address of that particular address, okay? Then we have the formula bar. So whatever we write, either text, numbers, or any formula or function in, in any particular cell, and we go to that active cell. So formula bar shows whatever uh, written in it. And we can edit the formula or function from here as well right this structure of this spreadsheet contains two main things uh, the first thing is the column and the second is rows so the columns uh, are being defined uh, by the alphabets and it starts from a and it's end at xfd so there are almost 16384 columns in one excel worksheet okay and imagine that you can excel you can insert more than one worksheet as well in the workbook and if we talk about the rows so the rows starts and distinguish uh, with the numbers so it starts from one and it, it goes till um, more than one million approximately okay so when i press control down arrow key i can go and check the exact number of number of rows available in microsoft excel so you can see that 1048 five seven six right and uh, the intersection of columns and rows creates cells so so there are more than 17 billion cells uh, in one excel worksheet so in every cell address is different for example if i go to this particular cell i will call it h3 if i go to this particular cell it will call it a1 so every cell address has a different uh, every cell has a different address right now let's talk about the hierarchy of this application so once you open microsoft excel and you work on it uh, you save the file you call it a workbook and the default extension of the workbook is dot xlsx then when you open a workbook it it contains several worksheets minimum one worksheet is required to work on microsoft excel and in the worksheet we have some arrays uh, two different kind of arrays now what does array means uh, it means that group of cells so when a user select more than one cell uh, multiple cells it called an array okay and there are two types of arrays number one are adjacent and number two are non-adjacent it also being said as contagious and non-contagious so mo most prefer word is adjacent and non-adjacent now what what is mean by this how we distinguish between two different types of arrays the first one is adjacent and non-adjacent so let me just create a sample data for you and then i will explain it to you so i am just creating a, a random numbers to get the quick data so i am using the rand between function and i will write a minimum value and a maximum value to get some random numbers out of this range okay and i will make it as paste special now i have a data let's call this sample as a data 
and how we distinguish that it's an adjacent or a non-adjacent. So if data is combined altogether, there are no such gaps like uh, there is no entire blank column or a blank row in this particular data set. It call as an adjacent data. Now, for example, if you ask that if I delete a certain cell and it contains nothing, it contains nothing, right? So uh, is it still be said as an adjacent data? Yes. Answer is yes, because it's still together, right? But if I add one entire blank column, or entire blank raw now this data is not being called as adjacent it will be called as non-adjacent because now data has been split into different parts right so we have we, we got some idea that how the array is being distinguished between adjacent and a non-adjacent right then again discussing about the introduction of excel in this video so let's also discuss this what is formula and what is function so formula is basically when a user made any kind of a logic to get the answer uh, the user mix some functions together like more than two three functions so it will also called a formula so it's a user made logic uh, the, whereas the function is called built-in uh, which is available uh, with some specific set of instructions in it so that functions work now let's have an example for formula and a function for example if i write two numbers and i want to uh, add these two numbers so remember that whenever you write a formula or function you start with an equal sign if you don't start with an equal sign it will not give you the calculation or the output okay so we started with an equal sign and here i have selected within my arrow keys h9 and a plus sign expression and then h10 so it gives me an output of 60 whereas again i want to get the total of these two numbers so i'm using equals to sum now this time i'm writing some kind of a spelling uh, and uh, i'm selecting a range right and it, it still give the same answer because data is same now here in the first example h9 is adding with the h10 whereas excel does not give any instruction to the user user define has itself with a logic that if he add two cells he will get that des desired number so so this is logic entirely created by a user itself this is called a formula whereas in one cell if you use something like equals to then a certain spelling and you following a structure in terms of arguments so this is a function which has a set of instructions built in in it right so every function in excel which is built in has a different kind of set of instructions and arguments uh, some are some of them are compulsory and optional and if the user follow that function correctly it it will give the right answer otherwise it will give an error okay so this is the difference between a formula and a function next we go towards like uh, how many cell references are there uh in in microsoft excel because as we discussed that ev every cell has a has a certain address right so there are six different kind of cell addresses and we will be discussing uh them in in the next video whereas the most common are relative and absolute might be you have used it earlier uh the the cell cell addresses without the dollar sign and with the dollar sign so without a dollar sign it's a relative with a dollar sign it's an absolute and to convert from relative to absolute to put a dollar sign in, in it we use the f4 key in that okay so in next video you will get the example for relative and absolute cell references and then if we talk about more about the structure of uh, in this first particular video you can sell different kind of uh, formatting for cells just go to format cells and if you can uh, set the cell formatting in terms of number currency accounting date time or custom as well right uh, you can do a lot of formatting uh, uh, here in in the cell you can rename the sheets we will also learn about different kind of formulas and functions in very much detail with the scenarios and i have covered a lot of important functions in this course as well so all the functions are available in the formulas tab and there are now more than 450 formulas uh, sorry functions in microsoft excel so you can imagine that every kind of user from the every industry is now being using excel excel is kind of a mandatory application in uh, for your job as well and if you use excel in advance and create something like dashboards or financial models or any other kind of mis reports uh, definitely it, it gives you 
not just the monetary advantage but it's make your career ladder more faster than other users so i hope that you will learn this excel course in much detail from me and you will like it and uh, the best part of this course will be that after every 30 days or one month one and a half month you will get more additional videos to this course so that your course will get updated after every 30 days that will be awesome right so i hope this this introduction is enough for this uh, particular video and see you in the next video thank you